Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just showing support towards yourself making you know get heading towards that better version of yourself and just making the positive changes and that's a blessing even though it's not towards me i love to see y'all everybody you know going to the finish line and just make you know getting those better blessings for themselves so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you if this is your first time to my channel or you've been watching the videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like um you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just have to tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by the channel and showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to today is called Meditation Music to Bring Positive Changes, Twin Flame Meditation to Manifest Your True Love. This is my first time ever hearing this, and I'm really feeling this. So, you know, if you like to meditate towards that, and you got a twin flame that you're trying to manifest toward things towards or whatever, you know, it's not really for a med uh, twin flame for me, but it's just like, if I feel, you know, I feel like if universes draw me towards a certain you know meditation i'll go ahead and use it so hopefully it'll be good for you as well but today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas if you know if god reroutes you nobody can doubt you um i heard that today on um what was it not today but i heard that um on facebook i love Tammy Rowland, uh, Roman, she does these um, bonnet chronicles where she wears these bonnets and she goes into her alter ego and just, you know, pushing out positive, uh, positive content. You know, I really think she's a Hayoka too. It's just the way she has me laughing sometimes and she will really touch some things that will hit home as well. And it was just like, you know, when she said that, that really got to me in a positive way. And I'm like, wow, I like that. You know, if God reroutes you, nobody can doubt you, you know, because there's sometimes things will happen to us we don't expect you know we you know like they say you, you can you, the funniest thing you can ever do is tell god your plans and he'll just up you know he'll reroute them things to the point where you know you're looking for a blessing and then something comes towards your way you weren't even expecting so it's just like you know when you go through life you know we can go through hell and high water you know and it, it was just like you know i tell y'all about my situation and you know my situation even though it's a messed up situation it's brought me so many blessings it has humbled the heck out of me in so many different ways it knocked me off my little pedestal you know i used to be you know one of them little hot heads you couldn't really tell anything to but it's like we're all a work in progress so it's just like when you know you're heading towards something you're doing something positive in your life you know god will put you in place is that you never you know you never thought you would be at and it's just like you know I know you know it was just like when I first did my videos you know I didn't know how it was going to impact you know I've told people about this before you know but some people are new so they didn't really know you know when I first started doing my videos it was about me getting connection back with my mom you know finding out who my father was which was very devastating because he had passed away or whatever but it was like trying to get in, in touch with my biological family and it was just like next thing you know uh my videos go on a search for you know my my biological mom end up being okay i found out i'm a twin flame then next thing you know i find out i'm indigo next thing you know i find out i'm infj next thing you know i find out i'm a hayoka white witch you know all these things came along and then i'm looking at the things that i'm doing now and it's just like when i get y'all uh you know your comments there are sometimes i sit here and just cry like you know i never knew my videos can really hit home for people like that and it's just like i always since a little girl i always wanted to help the universe like i like to see people with a smile on their face you know when i was little i used to get in trouble uh, because it was like when I'd be four or five years old, or even when I was just a toddler, I would go up to people and, you know, hit on their little, 
you know, their little pants leg and say, can I give you a hug? Like I can see on Facebook where they, they had this little, this little baby, that baby was probably about two or three years old. And this baby is just hugging everybody. And it was like, the baby didn't see color, you know, didn't see no kind of religion. It just saw a person. This baby saw just persons and just, she had love. So she wanted to give everybody else that love too. And it was just like, there'll be times where people will hug me and start crying and say, oh, you know, she is such an angel. You know, it's like, you really shouldn't be hugging everybody like that. I said, that's okay. You know, I felt like they needed that and I can feel their energy. So it was just like when I was, you know, really young, you know, my, my empathy was very off the charts. So it was like, you know, there was sometimes my dad would just look, my dad would be looking like, what the heck is wrong with my child? Why is she doing that? Somebody going to kidnap her if she doesn't quit doing that. You know, so he was very strict about me doing it. And I was like, it's okay, daddy. You know, they really needed that that day. You know, I felt like they were sad, so they needed a hug. So it's just like when you're, pl you're put in a positive place or put on that platform to where you know you can help somebody, you know, and you're doing it from your heart and not, you know, you're doing it selflessly, it's a beautiful blessing, you know, because it's just like, I feel like it's a bonus when people can come back and tell me, you know, Roslyn, you know, your video really, you know, it was, comp you know, I, I, I could be going some, going through something that day and, you know, I just asked the universe to send me a sign and next thing you know, you popped up having this video basically on the things that I was dealing with. So it's just like... Excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. When you're when you're rerouted to do that, you know, people, you know, people are like, "What are you doing? This and this and that," you know. So it's like nobody can't doubt you when you're put in a special place to be able to do something positive for yourself and for others. Because we all need that. It's just so many things that's going on in this world where, you know, it, it's just like sometimes I just have to take a break from social media at times. And it's just like if, if it is not about sex scandals, it's about certain religious, you know, you know, religious people that's in that form, you know, bad things are coming out where they don't touch kids. And, you know, like I said, when I started reading about, and I did the 1044, I was telling people, this is about to pop off. This is already written. You know, people are going to die and, and it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, important people or people that are famous are going to die and they're being sacrificed for that 1044 just to open your eyes and realize there are going to be a lot of, you know, people and religious platforms is about to be outed for the little secrets they've been keeping for years. You know, all these things are coming out left and right. So it was just like it was already written for you to do. And it's just like when you're able to, you know, put yourself in that point where you're like, you know what, I went through this, I went through that. And I'm going to make a difference, you know, it's just like sometimes, um, you know, we can lose a loved one like me. I lost a loved one. I, a matter of fact, I not only want to use myself as no, no example, but, um, there was this one lady, I forgot what her name was, but she, her little boy named Aiden. That's what I, I mean, I, that little boy stays on my mind sometimes a lot you know, and it is just like, he's a beautiful angel, and he passed away from con some kind of uh, cancer he had, and I felt so bad for his mom, because I'm a parent myself, you know, anybody that, that knows you have children, you know, and for your child to die so young from cancer, and this woman got so many blessings after that, and it's just like, sometimes we get put in a position for something that, you know, to get taken away from us, to break us in the worst kind of ways, and it's like nothing's going to replace that love for that child. But it's just the fact is your child was used as an example. Now a lot of people are starting to get their children tested for all these different things to make sure they don't go through the same situation they're, do, they're doing. Um, a lot of people are starting to donate money towards cancer, you know, cancer funds and stuff like that or whatever to help people that children are going through this. So it, it just took something like that traumatic for her, for her to open doors for everybody else. And it's it's just like sometimes we don't understand the position we're put in but when uh, everything's said and done when you can finally look at it for what it is you're like wow you know yeah I did lose somebody but look at all these things that happened after all this happened you know and it's just like you have to be able to look at stuff like that so when God puts you on a platform for you to be able to do something don't question just go ahead and go with the flow run with it do what you need to do 
because you know blessings are coming to you left and right and your blessings that are coming in you might with you know you pray on something you never know when god sees that you're you're doing what you have to do even though you might be going through hell and high water you know you want to give up sometimes but they're leading you not to give up things will start happening in the most miraculous way so you keep pushing you keep doing what you need to do and knowing things are going to get better for you and just like like i said when god reroutes you nobody can doubt you so i i hope this was able to resonate with somebody because i felt like it truly needs to be said so much love to y'all send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um, you know, hit that notification and let me know you're on the notification squad so I can go ahead and give you a shout out. Let me see who am I going to give a shout out to today. Uh, Drifting Clouds and um, Natural Child Guidance. Much love to you. Namaste. I hope. You know, sending out some uplifting blessings, comforting blessings, and loving uh, blessings and vibes. And I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. Be responsible for everything you do. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be well.